to Woods Cross Lacrosse, presented by Tim Dolly Nissan on KSLSports.com. We've got a Region 5 battle for you, the Woods Cross Wildcats, preparing to host the Northridge Knights. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart. Please be joined by Brian Brown. Brian, interesting matchup. You got kind of top of region against bottom of region, but these two teams played already. It's a close game the first time. It was, and these are two programs that are kind of in the developmental stage of becoming part of the lacrosse culture and community. Coach Verka in his second year, Coach Keller in his first. Two programs that are really fighting to establish their identity, their culture, and build something going forward. So tonight's game, coming off of losses for both teams, huge opportunity to grab some of that momentum. You talk about coming off losses. We'll touch on that in just a bit, but we had a chance to talk with both coaches, Coach Rurka of Woods Cross, Coach Keller of Northridge Knights, our pregame coaches interviews brought to you by the Men Love Fresh Start Auto. Here with Coach Rurka of Woods Cross, lacrosse coach. Uh, you guys played Northridge earlier this season. Close game. Second half, they pulled away from you. What do you look to do differently here today trying to get the win here at home? Yeah, well, Coach Reed's done great things with Northridge and they respect the crap out of their team. They play hard, they fight hard. So what we need to do to step it up from the last game is really just come back, focus on the basics. Just basic ball movement, a little bit more spacing, a lot of off-ball action. And when our defensive players are approaching the ball, just better approach angles and just relax. They just need to go out there, relax, play the game, play free, play with freedom. Don't be afraid to make mistakes and then just come out there with the, a lot of the emotion to go out there and take it to the other team. I say like last game we came out a little flat, we ramped it up, and then we just got to keep that consistency of energy level and then like get into the basics and the principles of the movement of the ball. And if we can do that, minimize our turnovers, I think we'll definitely bring be, bring a different team to the field today than we did last time. Been a tough year in terms of record. You guys have been close though in all your games. I mean, all your region matchups are three, four game goal games. Uh, how's the mindset of the team? What's the focus coming into this one here tonight? Well, it's, take, it's running the process. We have a lot of uh, young players Players, they're out in their field, they're grinding, they're working hard, but it's just uh, keeping the composure of the process of our plays. And our plays are really just a collection of the principles of the sport, but it's getting to the right spot, taking the right shot at the right time versus just taking a shot because uh, as far as out of panic or out of frustration. So if we can manage the process, manage their spacing, manage the ball movement and take the right shots at the right time, but we got to start to get into the 30 shots a game. We've been around like hover around the, like the 15 to 20. We got to uh, like up that stat, but up that stat with the right type of shots in the right time. And I think if we can get there, then we'll start putting a lot more goals on board. Our defense has been help, uh, holding teams. I mean, if you can hold most teams below 10, I mean, like that's not a bad defensive year. Um, and our goalies playing lights out in the cage. We're just going to focus on uh, getting to that 12 goal, uh, 12 goal goal for each game for offense. Awesome. Coach, thanks so yeah, much. Thanks. Here with Coach Reed Keller of Northridge. Coach, coaching or er, change today in cage uh, Cubby going to go with the youngster uh, after the dibble injury. Yeah, uh, it was unfortunate on Wednesday. Um, Callum, you know, hurt his foot, rolled his ankle some, so he may be out for a couple days. Uh, the team really rallied around Cubby. Uh, that was one thing we asked the team to do once the injury comes is let's let's keep him hyped. Let's let's kind of set him up for success. And he stepped up huge um, against Bountiful. Uh, so we're excited to see how he does today. We talked before the season started. You thought this group could be well positioned to make a run, compete for a region championship. You guys are right there at the top of the region. Uh, what have you seen from this group? Uh, what impressed you about how the season's gone for the Northridge Knights? Uh, this group has shown a ton of resilience. We, uh, we we talked about setting new pillars, setting a new culture, and they've stepped up. I, I've heard from a ton of parents, other coaches, that they can see the change in the team, the way they play. Uh, some of our region games have been tougher than we expected, and the team gritted out a win after going down on a, a lot of these games. Um, so I still kind of standing firm to that that I think we can be right there and uh, it'll be a tight match to the finish. You know, you guys uh, beat Woods Cross in the first matchup. Tight game, pulled away in the second half. This game tonight, Northridge, you know, you guys have targets on your back. Woods Cross wants to get revenge. What have you got to do well tonight in order to get a win? What are keys for the Northridge Knights? Uh, the keys on the the big key is going to be our transition. Uh, can we one win at the face off X and and 
you know, get to close to that 60% and then how we clear the ball. That has been a little bit of a struggle for us all year. We've spent some time focusing on that. And if I think if we can get those pieces together, um, you'll see the, the defense and offense start to work really well and, and click. Awesome. Thank you, Coach. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Want to thank Men Love Fresh Start Auto for sponsoring our pregame coaches interviews. Brian, you heard it from Coach Keller. Big news coming into this one. Callum Dibble, the junior goalie, not playing tonight. Twisted his ankle against Bountiful in that loss Wednesday night. They're going to go with the youngster. It's going to be the sophomore, Cooper, in cage, Cubby in cage for the Knights. Yeah, tough loss for Northridge. Dibble's really been a spark and a, a, a positive emergence for them. Coming off an emotional loss to lose one of your team leaders, that's a lot to overcome. But talking with Coach Keller, you can see from the interview, it's a man that believes in growth mindsets, in re rebounding and responding from adversity. And he's also someone who believes in holding these boys accountable and making sure that they are doing their best both on and off the field to accomplish the task at hand. You have to believe that this team tonight will be prepared to overcome that emotional valley that yeah. they have to cross. They'll have to stand up and support their sophomore goalie. We'll see if they can do that. The offense has been good for them this year. Max Skousen, leading goal scorer, 29 goals on the season for him. Rusty Baldwin, 17 goals, 16 assists as well for Northridge. He's coming in 9-3, and 4-1 and one region. That was their first region loss, that loss against Bountiful. They're top five in the RPI. Meanwhile, for Woods Cross, look, the Wildcats they come in, it's been a tough year. 1-8 and eight overall, 0-5 oh in region. But they've been close in all these games. It feels like they're right on the cusp, Brian, of getting a big win. Yeah, it really does. And a Friday night here at home on your home field, great opportunity for Woods Cross against a team that is looking to replace a leader in goal could lead to them capturing that momentum, just like you're talking about, Dane. Starting in the cage today for Woods Cross is going to be the sophomore, Noah Lake, We'll see how he does against this Northridge offense. That look, they it's not an offense that goes out and drops 20 a game, but boy, they're very efficient, very effective, and feels like Noah's gonna have to make some big stops because this Northridge D they don't concede a lot of goals. So it'll be interesting to see if Woods Cross can keep this low. We saw Coach Rooker talk about that. Razor said, Hey, look, if your defense gives up less than 10, you're in a game to win it. That's been the story all year for Woods Cross. We'll see if they can get enough offense to get in that eight nine goal mark see if they can pull out that win yeah I, I love the uh, quote from Quinn Snyder used to say adversity is opportunity in disguise and right now for the Woods Cross Wildcats that's an opportunity for them to capitalize on some adversity on the Northridge end gain some confidence we've seen it all year Dane the teams that can get that momentum early on carry it through the game it's a huge part of it so we'll, we'll look at the face-off crew for Woods Cross and look for them to start that action early on really try and generate that momentum early, get that energy level up. That's going to be a key component for them in taking against taking the game against Northridge. How about a pair of sophomores today between the pipes for each respective side? Be fun to see the youngsters, the up-and-comers in the state going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and that may very well be one of the differences who gets a win, which goalie can make bigger stops, more timely stops. Well, it's about the stops with goalies, and it's also about the team aspect of the defense. Are your, your long pulls communicating with one another? Are you staying in your spots, right? We love to talk about not chasing the cookie, so make sure that you stay within your game plan as opposed to trying to reach out and get some of those harder-to-get moments. You know, it's pursuing the balls beyond the net, right? The, the out-of-bounds plays, all those little tiny minutia of the game that were – I, I believe will really play forward tonight and will give one, or the, one of these teams the advantage. We talked about both teams coming off losses. Woods Cross coming off a, a heartbreaker, 8-6. to six. They dropped a game against Viewmont. That's a very good Viewmont squad. Let's see if that can, again, they've been right close. We talked about some of those region matches. They've had three games, four games in region play that have been four goals or less has been the difference. As we get ready for our national anthem, we will... Uh, Leave it here, National Anthem, and then Face Off coming up here on Woods Cross Lacrosse, presented by Tim Dolly Nissan.
you. Woods Cross the Cross offers a special thanks to the dedicated Woods Cross the Cross parents and the Woods Cross High School administration. Principal Dean Campanato, Vice Principal Mike Moss, and the Athletic Director is Dave Simon, working hard behind the scenes to support the Woods Cross High School Cross program. Additionally, the players and coaches would like to take care of And Close up on this is Sandy, Century 21, 18, Utah, and Conwood Heights, Firestorm, Mud Dogs, and Woods Cross, Man Love Auto, and North Salt Lake, Harding Design and Build in Bountiful, Snowy Shaped Ice, Salt Lake City, Edgar Law PLLC, and Farmington, Performance, Toyota, and Bountiful, JP Electrical, and North Salt Lake. And now please stand, direct your attention to the North Pole, and welcome onto the field your Woods Cross High School men teams will cross. The Wildcat Cats are led by head coach Brett Razor Ruka and assistant Caden Wilson. Art Crittenden, Casey Rich, and Kyle Kemper. to get going here at Woods Cross High School. As Wildcat Lacrosse presented by Tim Daly Nissan, Dane Stewart, Brian Brown with you. Love the pregame. I'm ready to go, Brian. I'm fired up, Dane. You're fired up. These Wildcats are fired up. It's a great night for some high school lacrosse. Even Vince looks fired up there running the camera. You see the starters out on the field. One of the things we didn't talk about, we got a lot of youngsters out there. We talked about the goalies, but even across the starting lineups, <clears throat> Brian, I count two seniors on the field to start this game off. You talk about coaches that are young in their 10 years at respective schools, a lot of youngsters playing. Future's bright for both these programs, but hey, let's get the future going tonight. That's right, Dan, and you talk about that's one of the great parts of lacrosse in this community locally. It doesn't matter if you're a senior or a freshman. There is opportunity out there to go play, play hard, play well. I'm excited to watch both of these teams compete tonight. Again, talking about earlier, these are two programs that are coming off tough losses midweek. We're in the, the home stretch of the season here. These games start to get really critical. We're in region play now, and, and they're looking forward to what 
may be a potential berth in the state playoffs. want to thank our sponsors that make this possible. Whole Sun Wellness, Harding Building and Design, Snowy Shaved Ice, Edgar Law, Performance, Toyota Bountiful, and JP Electrical. And making this possible here is we are ready for tonight's opening face-off brought to you by Flatiron Development. As we get ready here from the center spot, Woods Cross, Northridge, ready to go. And the opening face-off controlled by the home side, the Cats bringing it up here with Hammond as they get set up. As now, this is Gavin Rurka. Yeah, I see early on here, Northridge being aggressive defensively, knowing that they need to set a tone here with the freshman goalie there, trying to get into this Woods Cross offense and disrupt it. Here's Dunn. He'll play that back behind GLE. Scooped up by Kringlin. Green there, coming off of it. Gavin, a freshman, now wide. Back here at X Marks, playing back out. Gavin, coming around, got in position, and a save made. That sophomore making a nice early save there for the Knights. Yeah, good job by that Northridge defense. Try and force him into a tougher angle on the shot, able to provide their goalie with a shot, with an opportunity to block. Here comes Northridge, quick attack. They'll peel off, show some patience here as they'll get their offense set up. We talked about leading goal scorers for the Knights this season. And do we have a whistle? We'll get restarted here. Coming near side. Here's Caleb Tate. Boy, tried to move that over. Ground ball. Gathered there by Finn Moore for the Knights. Moore. Nice job being sealed away there by Yaspi. A lot of motion early here from Northridge trying to get that spot. Baldwin found a little seam. That shot rising. Over the crossbar and out. Love, Backed up. Love the attempt there. Love him trying to go low and aim high. Just not able to get it in the back of the net. Coming right around. Shot and a goal. That goal brought to you by Century 21 Elite Team Utah. Our first goal of the game scored by the Knights. Yeah, just a great job there by Max Scows and the leading goal scorer for this Northridge Knights high school lacrosse team. Picks up the loose ball, able to curl around the back of the net, goes low, finds the netting. Great job. Well, you can kind of see as that was coming from behind goal there from X, you kind of see that that was a tough spot as we head back here to the faceoff, another flat iron development faceoff here at Woods Cross. And this gathered by Northridge. Peterson was able to possess it. This one charred loose, drifting out. Northridge trying to recapture. Boy, good defense there. Physicality there by Weston of Woods Cross. And this ball going to trickle out. Yeah, love the aggressiveness there by Woods Cross. Leads to a turnover here. Now they'll get an opportunity to counter after giving up the first goal. And I love the physicality there, right? Sometimes when it's been a tough year, you, you see some of that intensity maybe trickle back. That's not going to happen with Coach Razor's group, right? Like, he's going to make sure they're locked in, and it's good to see they've still keeping it, you know, that pressure, that focus here. Yeah, tough, two tough, disciplined coaches trying to build tough, disciplined programs. You see, not afraid to get a little bit of physical out there as Northridge able to convert ball onto the offensive side. Yeah, tough pass with the setting sun. Big, big wind up there on the long pull. The look there from, I believe it was Meekum, just off the mark. Backed up here. Straight away with Harris. 
Now Baldwin, Rusty. We talked about him in the open. Very balanced offensive player. On the wing there. Good roll by Moore. As Northridge will work this back up top. Bit of a lane feed in front. Boy, that's a tough position. And it's another Century 21 goal as it's 2-0 Northridge. Yeah, great job there by Ren Quinney as he takes the pass from his teammate, able to convert on the bouncer. Great job by him taking the easy, easy play, getting the ball in the back of the net. And like you said, Dane, we're up 2-0 Northridge early. Boy, and both of those have been goals that have incorporated movement behind the goal for the Knights. Another flat iron development face off here. And another face off win for the visitors. Here's more. Finn will play back to Rusty. They've really used him very much like a point guard here in the first couple minutes, Brian. They have, and you see a little stumble there as Woods Cross doing a much better job staying disciplined, staying on position, able to get the ball back. Now trying to advance it out. Had a little bit of struggle last time around advancing the ball. You see goalie coming out there. Yeah, Lake not afraid to show his athleticism. Woods Cross, a little bit of space now for the Cats as a flag coming down on the play. Skipping across, Jack Wood just couldn't quite handle it. This ball on the turf, trying to be scooped up and is by Kringlin. Boy, a trio of Knights able to come away with it. That one tossed to the middle. Does it have enough to get near the end line? Oh, that's great stick work there, huh? Really impressive on the effort. We talked about that in pregame, Dane. Trying to go after the little things could lead to opportunities here. Oh, so close. Boy, that's a good shot from Cannon. I love the... Lane, the advantage there, right? You got the lane, throw it on goal. It's just a nice play made by the sophomore Cubby, and now we'll get the call and the first penalty of the game. Going to go on Badeau. See if this can help Woods Cross find that offensive footing here, Brian. Yeah, you're looking for anything to jumpstart the momentum a little bit there, Dane. We saw just the hustle, the, the effort to try and keep the ball in play led to a great opportunity with a shot on goal. You've got a young goalie in net there for Northridge. He does a great job of blocking that. He's not going to get to every shot tonight. So you want to keep making those attempts. Again, Woods Cross with an opportunity to get the ball a little closer uh, than the last previous uh, possession. Working this around the Cats. Here's Wood. Plays over with Freebairn. Back to X. Continue to work around here. Marks a little bit of space. Oh, good screen. Sets up the shot and the goal. A Woods Cross Century 21 Elite Team Utah goal. The man up advantage there. And you see Northridge trying to pack the defense in tight. But Gavin Ruka not afraid to take the ball to the back of the net. Great shot by him. Love the equalizer goal there for Woods Cross as it's now 2-1 to one Northridge. We talked about that screen. Off ball sets up just the lane for the freshman. That's a great shot, but good help by the team there for the Wildcats. Great shot. The teamwork. You talk about that. A little bit of confidence now here for Woods Cross as you can kind of feel the momentum slipping away a little bit there. Get a little bit of that back. Get an opportunity to feel good about what you've just done there. Maybe get another goal here. Flat iron development face off. Ground ball here. Both teams sweeping at it, trying to gather off the turf here. Pushed wide, and it is Northridge coming away with it. Badeau, he was serving time. Now he's got a shot. That one was just wide, but captured there by Lake. Boy, Noah tracked that well as pressure here in the crease. Uh, great job clearing the ball as well. Great job, Noah Lake. And here come the Cats. Cannon. Playing wide, room is another flag coming in on the play here. Dumped right in front and another crafty save made right on goal. Is that was a shot right in front of the cage? And again, it's Cubby. He's been impressive the early moments here. He really has. He's done a great job so far. You see him staying alert, keeping his stick up at all times, being aware of where the ball is going. Defense doing a nice job of trying to get in those lanes. 
create a lot of obstacles for any shots on goal, potential shots on goal. Quaid Weldon here called for the interference, I believe. He'll have to come off, and Woods Cross will go man up once again. One for one in this first quarter are the Cats, and a chance here to tie things up. Yeah. If they want to keep in this game, these are the opportunities that they really have to capitalize right. on. Right, right. You and I have had a knack of... Uh, Seen the reverse happen with man up opportunities. Good to see the <laughs> cross take advantage of one so far. Right. Time. They'll play this back up top. Space here for Wood. Thought about it. Plays to the wing. Back with Jack. Jack stepping up. Shot there was deflected. And a nice job there by Northridge. Able to gather as they now try to escape it out of the defensive half. And they will. Burst here by Brandon Smith as he brings it ahead. And a chance here for Northridge to kill off the rest of this penalty. See, nice job by Smith getting the ball upfield, knowing the most important part about it, like you said, Dane, kill off that penalty. If you can get a shot on goal, even better, but. Coming from X, that shot was off the mark, backed up here by Northridge, and you can see they continue to work from behind the goal, Brian. Yeah, and, and Woods Cross starting to catch on to what they want to do, as you see the defense, defense in a much better position there. Obviously, man up, that helps a bit. No lake adjusting as well. Baldwin coming around again. Oh, fed to the backside. That pass was just a little tough to handle for Quinney. Northridge still on it. Open angle going five hole. And Northridge scoring the goal. A Century 21 Elite Team Utah goal. Yeah, great job there by Max Scows and his second goal of the game. And you see why he's leading the Northridge Knights as he goes, like you said, Dane, five hole. Going low on Lake. Great job. Boy, in Northridge, I love they stuck with it. I mean, that's a great find to the backside of the cage, and it, it, it wasn't a well-handled pass, but they stay on it. They get the good look there for Skousen. 31st goal of the year for Max. Yeah. Just a junior, by the way. Yeah, impressive job by him and, and by this Northridge team to stay with it. That's one of those things that we talk about a lot, Dane. That's where you can really find opportunities is if you stay with the play. Don't give up on it. Boy, and procedure on that flat iron development faceoff. We'll give it here to the Knights. Room here for Tate. She was across a little discombobulated there on defense, able to settle back in. Northers look, looks to attack. Looking in front. That one fended off. Ball's in the air. Boy, Woods Cross kind of lost it, and Northridge makes them pay for it as the Knights scooping it up and scoring again. Yeah, tough one there for Woods Cross as everybody's looking for ball, looking for ball. Northridge comes up on it, capitalizes on the confusion. Great goal there for Northridge as they go ahead 4-1 to one now, Dane. And if you're Woods Cross, that's two big mistakes on the procedure and then watching the ball too much. Look to grab some momentum here if you're the Wildcats. Head back here for a flat iron development face off. This is an area, Brian, that is leaning to the visitors from Northridge here early. And another face off win captured by Northridge. <clears throat> now we talked about that first matchup. It was four to three at the break. Northridge has found more offense as a good save there by Noah Lake. That's a critical one here for the Cats. It is. It does a good job of clearing the ball out now, too. And see if Woods Cross can maintain possession. A bit of a scrum there. Yeah, another ground ball retreating and gathering his free baron for the Wildcats. Rurka, boy, kind of lost that as it was a high pass. And now Northridge back on it again. Possession tilting heavily in the favor of the Knights here as we edge to the end of the first quarter. Dane, Woods Cross, you just want to stay disciplined. Big run there, bounce shot. Bounces high, backed up here by the Knights. A little over three minutes left here in the first quarter. Like I said, if you're Woods Cross, you really want to stay disciplined on this possession. Boy, they tried to run Baldwin right in front of the cage. That pass couldn't be handled. As Gus Wood trying to come back over and back will be the call there. Woods Cross will have it. As we're down to three to play here in this first quarter. Space here for Wood. Oh, that pass. 
Tough to handle, trying to gather, and can't last a touch with Woods Cross. Yeah, you see Northridge getting very aggressive on defense. They're trying to stop the break. Woods Cross does a good job of trying to find the open man, just not able to make the pass on target. Northridge gets the ball back. Want to remind you, stick around at the end of the first quarter. We'll have Wes, Wes Johnson from Men Love Fresh Start Auto join us. Boy, this is end-to-end -end for Northridge going five-hole again, and it's another Northridge goal brought to you by Century 21 Elite Team Utah. Yeah, great job there. Again, finding the low spot in the goal, able to take advantage of the change in possession. That's something Northridge has done a great job of all game long. That was Ethan Christopher, a sophomore, scoring the goal for the Knights in the lead. Here, push to four. We'll head back for another flat iron development face off. Good challenge there. And it's Northridge trying to come away with it. Boy, did a nice job trying to push him off there by Harding, making it difficult. And a whistle here is going to give it to the home side. I love the effort there from Woods Cross. Again, giving up the goal, but not giving up the fight. And you see they push the possession here now, trying to make something happen, grab some momentum. Yeah, I want to let you know the clock you see on your screen, unofficial. At times we get out of sync with the official game clock, so we'll always try to true it up there for you. As Woods Cross coming around, that shot just wide. Good look there for the Cats. Love the intensity. Love that effort from Woods Cross. Don't be afraid to put shots on goal. Test that young goalie. He's done a great job so far, Dane, but you can't stop them all. That one couldn't be possessed in the middle. Ball still rolling through. Von Nieder hasn't trying to capture it. Just could not quite get there. Northridge possessing. Here's Caleb Tate for the Knights as they will set it up here. Inside of two to play here in our opening quarter. It may have had an opportunity to try and get a shot on goal, but wisely backs it out, allows Northridge to set up the offense. Uh, double team coming over, trying to take away the lane there for Baldwin. He's serving, got a man wide open on the wing, and another goal scored by Northridge. Cash Peterson with the Century 21 Elite Team Utah goal. Great teamwork there. As you see Cash Peterson wide open, finds the back of the net easily. Great work by Northridge to work the ball around. Again, we talked about it, backing it out, saving your opportunities, working that offense, and it cashes in with a goal for Northridge. I see what you did there. Cashes in. I'm I'm all over. I'm all over it tonight, Brian. You're not you're not gonna slide that one past me. It's too early. No change jangling in <laughs> your pocket, right, Dane? <laughs> Back for another flat iron development goal. Boy, what a start by Northridge. We talked about that first game. It was 9-5 to five was your final. The Knights have found the net, back of the net, six times just in this first quarter alone. Another face off possessed by the visitors. That one couldn't be handled. Northridge with a miscue. We'll give it here to the Wildcats. See if you can close out the final 90 seconds, get a little bit of that momentum back. Working over with Dunn. That broken up and Northridge able to gather it. And a penalty flag here going to come in. And Northridge trying to keep it. They will as it's tracked down by Von Niederhausen. Excuse me, by Meekum. Ah. Right in front, going for the little no-looker. That one had heat, but off target, and now we'll get the call here on the penalty. You can hear the play on the stick all the way up here in the booth, Dane. Again, Woods Cross trying to be aggressive there, going after those balls. You love the aggression. You love the effort. Uh, it's a little bit more self-control, self-discipline there. Won't get you the flag. And now Northridge has an opportunity man up here in the closing seconds of the first quarter. They'll start it here in the corner. Worked up with Baldwin. Good close out there. Baldwin able to keep it here.
Good defense there. Is this one on the ground and Woods Cross coming away with it? Back on the ground. Oh, and that one just misses the cage on the slow roller. Recaptured here by Gavin. Lake playing wide, and that pass can't be handled. And Woods Cross giving it up here. That pressure by Northridge doing its job. See Woods Cross getting better at reacting to this passing offense of Northridge. Final seconds here, down to three. Northridge, a shot, save. Nice save made there by Lake. And that'll be a little bit of momentum for Woods Cross as the first quarter has come to a conclusion. Big start for the visitors as Northridge leading Woods Cross 6-1 to one after the first quarter. You're watching Woods Cross Lacrosse, presented by Tim Dolly Nissan on kslsports.com. And now we have a great opportunity. We want to bring on Wes Johnson from Men Love Fresh Start Auto. Wes, thanks for joining us here tonight. Thanks, Dan. A pleasure to be here. We got Dane and Brian Brown. Hey, Brian. Good to see you, man. Good so, to see you. Wes, tell us a little bit about your association with Woods Cross Lacrosse. You're an alum, but talk to us about how you got involved with this program. Well, I got in touch with Razor, Coach Razor, and uh, that's, that's his call name in the air force and there's a there's a story that goes behind that and i can't tell it to you but there, there's a story that goes behind razor and um, he's a friend of a friend my friend todd beck that i played against actually at bountiful high in baseball and todd and razor are neighbors and so they got together with me and and uh i just got the energy razor has so much energy and so much passion with what he's doing and um so I found out that, that, that he was involved with Woods Cross and that they were having some issues with um, some of their history. And I said, heck, I'm here. And, and uh, the, the building you see right up there, that's, that's the old Men Love Dodge Toyota. And so there was a time, a lot of history that I've got here. I walked, I climbed that fence over there and walked right over here. And that was part of, that was part of me coming to school and going back and forth for two days and stuff like that. So a lot of history, a lot of a lot of uh, wonderful memories here at Woods Cross High School. You talk about Men Love being right over there, Men Love Fresh Start Auto. Tell us a little bit about what Fresh Start is and uh, you know if people are interested, how they get in touch with you. Well, Men Love Fresh Start, we started that in 1989 and it was a way to help people that have had credit issues in the past. And so we started that and, and the whole idea was uh, to establish or reestablish your credit. And so we started that and um, part, of, part of what we're doing now is that we offer 0% financing and uh, we have warranties and um, there's just a whole, there's a whole history and a whole, um, whole program, the Fresh Start program, that's, that's what it goes by. And so we're just trying to help people that have had credit issues in the past and, and we've been doing that since 1989. Love it, helping people in the community, helping the community in our, our high schools here. Wes, thank you so much for your sponsorship of Woods Cross Lacrosse and for presenting our interviews here tonight. Thank you, I'm proud to be part of you guys. Appreciate it, Wes, thank you so much. We're getting ready to start the second quarter. We're back with another flat iron development face off here. Good start there for Woods Cross as they're able to control the faceoff. I want to see them try and fresh, you know, we just had a fresh start with Menlov Dane. Now yeah. we have a fresh start for Woods Cross here in the second quarter. Boy, we'll see if that can if that can help. And, you know, Menlov Auto, he talked about, been serving Davis County for 70 years, and now they can help you get back on track with their fresh start program to learn how you can find your next vehicle with no credit check and 0% financing, visit menlove.com. Want to thank Wes and Men Love Fresh Start Auto for their sponsorship. And always awesome to see you know, companies that want to help communities, want to help high school kids. And uh, man, couldn't, couldn't appreciate Wes Johnson more for all of his support here. Woods Cross, you talk about that fresh start of this second quarter. We'll see what Coach Razor has for his group as that pass, Gus Wood trying to track that down for the Wildcats. And it is turned over. Northridge coming away with it. Mishandling the ball there. And that's been a bit of an issue for Woods Cross so far tonight as they're able to actually trigger 
change of possession there. And again, we talk about Coach Razor, his energy, it's just contagious. Yeah. You can see him on the sideline. You know, it looks like he's having almost as much fun as the kids are out there <laughs> sometimes. But uh, you know, Air Force pilot, great member of this community, and you know, you see why Menlove wants to get involved with him in this program. Former Air Force lacrosse player, was a four-year starter at Air Force, all-conference defense, team MVP. And, uh, of course, now you know, living in the community and active duty pilot. Loves the game. Loves what it did for him. Loves what it could do for the young men here at Woods Cross. And one of the great parts of this lacrosse community is you see Northridge ooh, not able to convert on the opportunity there. Great job by that Woods Cross defense. Yeah, I thought Baldwin had a lane, but you're right. They took that away quickly. Baldwin, there's the shot. The riser to the corner. Another elite 21, or Century 21 Elite Utah goal. What a great shot there. Again, goes top corner of the net on the run. Just love the accuracy there. If your woods cross, that's a tough one to stop. Yeah. No lake. Love the effort. Hair late to get over there. Tough one to find the, to get the stick on that ball. You know, the other thing is, and sun is starting to set you see those shadows creeping out mm -hmm. it's a it's a tough angle when you're shooting near side that one a lot of heat on it well painted shot as we head back here for another flat iron development face off and we'll redo this had some indication to the bench i'm not quite certain what it was they'll give it here to woods cross i missed that one brian it looked like it was a procedure penalty of some sorts. I'm not exactly sure what the conversation between the official and the coach was, but Woods Cross will get possession. You see, again, we talk about it. This is a young program, a lot of young players. They really want to push the effort and energy there. And they're going to get a penalty here on yep. Northridge, I think. Yeah, so the call there, the hit in the head. Mm -hmm. I don't know that Coach Keller <laughs> agreed with that wisely decides to discuss it with the sideline rather than the official. Yeah. And that's one of the things we talked with him about off camera. We won't dive into that a ton, but just, hey, measure your response, right? You don't want to make one situation worse. And uh, you see him trying to exemplify that on that play. But look, what's Cross going man up once again? Their lone goal today coming off man up. We'll see if this can help them, again, get that offense back on track. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you love the effort and the energy from this team so far. You would love to see them convert on an opportunity here. Northridge has controlled possession for most of the game. So really, if Woods Cross can just work the offense a little bit and get a shot here on goal, I think maybe they can grab some of that momentum. Played over. Back up top, boy, working this around, and that one Great taken save. away. Once again, Cubby with the save. Northridge now trying to push it. Boy, a lot of room for the Knights. Absorbing that, stepping up, big save by Lake. What's cross back on it now? Noah got to quickly retreat. He's back between the pipes here for the Cats. Great job by Noah Lake there. Getting the deflection, then chasing after the ball and getting back on goal. Northridge not able to get any opportunity there. Love the help and the teamwork from his defenseman there with, with, with Woods Cross for Lake. Here's Harris. Now Baldwin. Thought about it. Still on it. Boy, freed up some space. Good move by Rusty as that shot is wide. You see Baldwin trying to go upstairs again. Just a little bit wide on that shot. But you love the the back and forth, the, the, the juke move there. And then B button for the spin. Tried to send that across. Found its way through. Maybe not as crisp, so no opportunity there. Woods cross able to get back in possession quickly. That deflected good stick work there by the Wildcats. I think that was Jospi able to get the deflection and now the Cats with the possession. One of those things that you teach young players is have that active stick because you never know when it might get in the way of a ball and perfect example of that right there as we see Lake advancing the ball here for Woods Cross. 
Boy, still on it. Got a little bit of space there just to step in front of Yaspi, trying to stay with it. Luke couldn't quite keep it in. Boy, another tough play there for the Cats. You can just see how much trust they have in Lake, allowing him to advance the ball. Northridge putting the pressure on, sensing the opportunity. If, if you let Woods Cross get into their offense, and it just gives them more opportunity to get shots on goal. Northridge trying to cut that off at the right at the jump. Woods Cross will start it here wide. 7.20 left to go here in the first half. Cannon giving that to Freebairn. Work back with Dunn. The long pull of Brandon Smith there trying to make life difficult on Carter. And that gathered by the defense of Northridge. You see Northridge able to take some chances there, Dane, as Woods Cross isn't using a ton of motion on offense. You know, we've talked about it a lot. This team plays with a lot of effort and energy. Wonder if maybe they're starting to run out of gas a little bit. It's been a lot of pursuit for uh, so that Woods Cross unit. Northridge has been on the attack for most of the game. Tough pass there for CJ to handle. Rare miscue for Northridge is back on it now. Is Woods Cross. I really want to see more motion here from the, from the offenses. Taking too long there. And possession goes back to Northridge. Boy, you can just see the disappointment from Coach Razor. Just drop the heads like, man, we just cannot seem to get out of our own way at times tonight. It's kind of how this game has gone early. As Northridge took advantage of a few choice opportunities. Backside, looking for the lane. Boy, that is tough. Century 21, elite team Utah goal. Scored by Skousit again as he's left one-on-one -on -one and takes advantage. Yeah, we hadn't heard from him for a moment, but you can never sleep on Max Skousen as he goes back of the net on a great little give-and-go play there. One of the best parts about this Northridge unit so far, Dane, they have been great at getting teammates involved and sacrificing their own opportunities to find the right shot. Another one right there as Max Skousen nails the goal. 8-1 Northridge. This game was 2-1 at one point. It's been a 6-0 advantage for the visitors and here the hold will give it to Woods Cross. Richards back with Verka. Let's see Woods Cross backing it out, trying to get something going early on offense here. And that pass will trickle out as, again, another unforced error. One of those where I mean, that's a play you just got to make. Yeah, you wonder if maybe the sun got in his eyes or yeah. something like that because the ball looked like it was on target, just missed there. Well, and, and that's um, where, again, you see the shadows and you just mm -hmm. see like the angle on it's like that sun's getting low, you're looking yeah. right at it. Opportunity here for Northridge now off the turnover. And if you're Woods Cross, it's Baldwin and Skousen that you need to be keeping an eye on. Just coming on, here was Baldwin. The windup, nice save by Lake, lost it. Oh, and keeps it out. Hey, heads up play there by Noah Lake. Yeah, just muscle memory right there as he blocks the shot initially. Not able to find the ball immediately, but great job by Noah Lake. Hey, all you gotta do is keep it out of the back of the net. Doesn't matter how or, and he did it there. That's, look, and it, sometimes it's those types of plays that maybe can spark it as coming back there to gather it is Richards for Woods Cross. Now he's trying to take advantage of a little bit of a burst. Caleb. Ooh. Oh boy, hard check there. From behind and yeah. there's flag the flag. Flag on the play, yep. Flag on the play. It's like I'm in football mode here, Brian. 
Well, I haven't brought any football references in the broadcast yet, Dame. Glad you were the first one. Yeah, to yeah. Well, around. Uh, you, yeah. Uh, but My the bad. Go block in the back there for <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's I'm actually a clip, you know. But I'm just teasing. <laughs> They never let me block any of the tackles anyway, so. Uh, Woods Cross going to go man up once again. Yeah. And this is really where we've seen them execute their, their best offense. They've had a couple of opportunities. I think it's the fourth penalty here for Northridge. And they really haven't seen them test Cubby the goalie very much here in the second quarter. Get something going with the man up advantage, like you said, Dane. Just struggling to do everything right now as you see the bobble there on the ball. Just need to get some momentum going here. Worked around. Wood. North is really packing everything in front of that cage. They'll give that outside. In fact, it was a bit of a long goal for Woods Cross on the goal they scored by the freshman Gavin Ruka. Coming around, Gavin still on it. Found some space in the goal. A century 21 elite team Utah goal. A beauty for the freshman. That's exactly what we're talking about, Dane. You want to work the offense, right? See a little bit more motion. Let's see go, them guys. set up the play. Able to get Ruka coming around on the goal. He goes low. Gets the freshman goalie. Gets the response. Great job by Woods Cross there. Second goal on a man up yes. advantage tonight. And I think both, that's the most I've seen all year. And both coming from Gavin, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and it's been that same play, right? The curl around, and uh, that time I love the patience she showed. Right, initial shot taken away. Hey, we're gonna stick with it. Free up a little bit of space. Nice finish. Yeah, I don't know if you knew this, Dane, but as a goalie, it's really hard to see out the back of your head. So those behind the goal plays, dangerous opportunity. It's when you really have to defend on your defense. See Woods Cross capitalizing on the momentum, working in front. Oh, the five hole taken away. Boy, that's a great look for Will Marks, one of the senior captains. Yeah, great shot there by Marks. Great stop there by Cubby. Boy, that would have been huge for Woods Cross. Uh, gonna need that defense come up with a stop. That pass off the mark, gonna roll through, and it will be Woods Cross here on the possession. We do want to thank Tim Daly Nissan for presenting Woods Cross the Cross. Tim Daly Nissan is your place to go to make sure your Nissan lasts. You can schedule service online and take advantage of free Wi-Fi, self-service coffee, and free shuttle service to help fit your service into your busy life. Visit timdallybountiful.com to schedule your Nissan service today. This picked up by Wood. They've had a couple good looks the last minute or so of play. See if they can create another one. Here's Cannon. Wood. Back here to Jared. Marks. Thought about that. We see how disruptive those long poles can be. Good positioning there by Brandon Smith. You see Mark's attempting it. Why is he backs out? Works the ball around. Don't force it right now. Boy, they're trying to get that on the angle. A high pass intercepted. Is this one trickling through and gathered by C.J. Campbell? Oh, good stick work there by Wood. But Finn Moore there in support. Nice job to stop the attack there. Forced Northridge in the reset. Not able to get the turnover necessarily, Dane, but nevertheless, you're able to reestablish your defense. Right. And force Northridge to get in their offense. Baldwin pushing over with Moore. Had a goal in that first quarter for Northridge. A move there by Smith. Good find of Baldwin right in front. Rusty Baldwin with another goal. Brought to you by Century 21 Elite Team Utah. I see the turf monster jumping up there and biting the Woods Cross defender. Allows Northridge to work the ball around, find the open man. And, of course, it is Rusty Baldwin. No rust on that shot, Dane, as he finds the back of the net. Right now, I've just got Kramer in my mind. Rusty! <laughs> Rusty! Rusty? Are you a Seinfeld fan? I am, yeah. You, you yeah. know that? I do. All right, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. 
We're, we're of that generation. I think the best part about things like Netflix saying, even the younger generation is finding out what Seinfeld's all about. It's, it's good. It's good for everyone. Another flat iron development face off here. This one gathered by Woods Cross. They have improved their face offs here, Brian. Yeah, and it's, it's the energy level that's really picked up after that man up uh, advantage goal. You see them much more aggressive here. Hammond Lane, and that fought off there by Cubby. Woods Cross has had some good looks just like that one. Cubby's been impressive in this first half. He has. You know, he's been reactive. He's done a good job of, you know, gave up a goal or two early on there in the five hole. Done a good job of progressing throughout the game. As you see the turnover here. Giving up Marks with the run and the goal. Will Marks with the century 21 elite team Utah goal. Just a great job by the senior there on the turnover. Knows exactly what to do. Take it to the net. Attack, attack, attack. Take advantage of the chaos on defense and Goes low, finds a goal. Woods Cross, back on the board. And good on Woods Cross, right? You get the turnover in the middle of the field. They recognize, hey, we got an opportunity to push it, take advantage of some space. And Will Marks, the senior, able to capitalize for the Cats. The response here in the later part of the second quarter is what's been most impressive to right. me. Just gave up a few early goals. Finally woke themselves up, and the Cats are playing much better. Another flat iron development face-off procedure here. We'll give it back to Woods Cross. Oh, never mind. I thought he pointed that way, but my bad. Northridge giving it. He may have been pointing for a fresh start. Yeah. <laughs> ben with Toyota there. Uh, Working around, here's Skousen, has the three goals today. Now Baldwin has a pair of goals and assists. Good contest there, Moore able to recapture it. Being pushed out wide here. Great job there by that Woods Cross defense. Not getting sucked in on the confusion. Skousen. Good job with the help there as well. Skousen's still on it inside of 30 seconds to play here. Stepping up. That shot high, backed up by Northridge. They'll kick out. Good step there by Christopher. Love the defense there by Cannon Christopher with the bounce shot and the goal. Well, the defense got out of place, and Christopher able to score the century 21 elite team Utah goal. Yeah, you see it right there, Dane, just getting a little too aggressive on the defensive end allows that opportunity to open up there for Northridge. Christensen able to, or Christopher, excuse me, able to convert on the goal there. Great job by Ethan Christopher. Another flat iron development. Face off coming your way. 12 seconds to go. Face off one by Woods Cross. Can they get a late one? Oh, ground ball still on the turf. And we'll get the whistle here be given to Woods Cross with three seconds to go. Gotta hurry. Woods Cross. And a long shot was tracked by Cubby. Kept out, and that will do it. We reach the end of the first half. It's 10 to 3, Northridge leading Woods Cross. You're watching Woods Cross Lacrosse, presented by Tim Daly Nissan, only on kslsports.com. Hey, this is Grin Pierce, uh, general manager at Tim Daly Nissan Bountiful and a proud sponsor of Woods Cross Lacrosse. I uh, just want to give you an update on the market, what's going on in the, in the world of cars. Uh, you know, here down here at Tim Daly Nissan Bountiful, we have a lot of new Nissan product um, shipped in, which has not been the case. We have over 50 brand new Nissan uh, products uh, available for you guys to come check out. We have some 0% financing on new cars, which has not happened in years. And with interest rates going up, this is your opportunity to 
to come down and uh, take advantage of some really low interest rates and get yourself a brand new car. Uh, on the flip side, uh, the used car market is um, as hot as ever. You know, used cars are going for thousands more than they were months ago, which we thought wouldn't be the case. Um, so if you have a trade-in, it's never going to be worth more than it is right now. So you want to come down and see us at Tim Daly Nissan Bountiful. We'd love to give you an opportunity to show you our five-star uh, service at Tim Daly Nissan Bountiful. All right, welcome back. Menlo, fresh start, halftime interview with Coach Rurka. Coach, found felt like the, those last couple of minutes of that second quarter, you guys started to find your rhythm a little bit. Does that give you a little better feel heading into the second half? Well, the guys just need to find that like inner competitive like energy. And they found a little bit, it's been in transition. What we, need, what we need to do is get settled down in our offense. So I haven't seen a whole lot of our process being executed with like the violent precision that we're, that we're looking for. I think they're, they're getting over the first quarter jitters. You're right, they came out, but now we just gotta get after those ground balls, manage the sun angle for the catches, yeah. Run our off ball offense and then just hit our plays. That's, and been, that's, the, yeah. that's been the tough part, the sun. You could kind of tell that's had an impact. When you look at the second half, that won't be a problem. Any adjustments, things that you try to do differently here in half number two? Well, uh, going back to the process, we just need a lot more off ball action. Off ball action, and then what we need to get back to is our dodge, pass, pass, dodge type of the, our pacing. We do that with the off ball action, just relax, but then get that, get that ground ball kind of like competitiveness going on, and I think we'll pick it up. See if that momentum from the second quarter can carry you through the second half. Coach, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. And welcome back here to Woods Cross High School, Woods Cross Lacrosse, presented by Tim Daly Nissan on kslsports.com. Dane Seward, Brian Brown with you. 10-3, the advantage for the Northridge Knights at the break. You heard Coach Ruka talk at halftime, right? Obviously, he acknowledged, yeah, the sun's been a challenge, right? But we just got to get back and settle in. It felt like they started to, felt like they started to in that, late in that second quarter, Brian. Yeah, I loved what he said about internal competitiveness. And I think that's a lot of what this program and this team is trying to build is not just having wasted energy, but channeling that energy into competing for every ball, every play, knowing what your assignment is. And even if you don't know what your assignment is, Dane, just doing something to be competitive out there. And you could see that start to, you know, fade in a little bit more at the end of the second quarter as they caught some momentum, gained some confidence, and they were able to score a couple goals. Let's yeah, see. boy, it was, uh, you know, it, and, and the search from what Northridge, I mean, that offense was clicking on all cylinders. Noah Lake had some nice saves for uh, Woods Cross. We talked about the sophomore goalies, but how about the first half from uh, Caleb Cubby Cooper, a sophomore goalie for Northridge? He made, he made some big saves, which is very much responsible for the separation we have here at half. Yeah, it was the early play of Cubby Cooper, I think, that gave Northridge some confidence. He made some big stops, allowed them to get some possession, Got some good shots on goal. And when you have guys like Skousen and Baldwin, man, that's a great advantage to have. We get ready to start the second half. We'll start it off with another Flatiron Development face-off. Want to thank Flatiron Development for their sponsorship here of Woods Cross, Lacrosse, as well as all of our other sponsors as our second half underway. And another face-off win here for Northridge. Of course, we want to thank Men Love Fresh Start Auto for their halftime interview of Coach Worker. Awesome to see his thoughts, right, of that first half and what he wants to do here in the second half. Talk about settling down. We'll see if that defense can settle down here for the Cats. They gave up the six first period goals, four in the second. As a lane here for Moore and Finn Moore able to find his way right in front of the cage and the Century 21 Elite Team Utah goal. Yeah, again, that internal competitiveness that Coach Ruka talked about in your interview, Dane, wanted to start right from the get-go. Woods Cross just a little bit sluggish coming out of the gate, more able to take advantage of the slow rotations, gets a great shot, and gets the goal. Northridge takes a 10-3 lead. 11-3. Our graphic producer falling asleep on the job here in this second half. Quick goal, just 30 seconds in for the Knights as we're back with another flat iron development face-off. This one controlled by Woods Cross. Coming up here is Cannon up that far side. We'll see if that offense can settle in. Great job there by J. 
Jared Cannon to win that face off. Just keep fighting after it. We've seen Woods Cross with a little bit of the bobbles today. Able to maintain possession there. The south goal is pretty much covered. That'll go a long way for this Woods Cross defense. There's another low shot and another save made here. That ball high into the air, captured by Gavin. Well, we got to get back quickly here. Jack Wood trying to keep this ground ball with the Cats. Sweeping, sweeping. A couple checks. Boy, Jack had it. And then that one just leaped out of his cross and recaptured here by Ben McGuire. Here's Wood. Gus, good move. And he'll show some patience here and give back to Gavin. Gavin working up that right lane. Looking for that turn around in the middle there, taken away by this Northridge D. Right in front, that pass. McGuire couldn't capture it, and last to touch there was Woods Cross. It'll go back here with Northridge. Aggressive stick work there from Campbell. Just a junior, but you see him playing so tough and competitively out there. Taken away, nice job by McGuire. Ben will sell it up here with Gus Wood. Over with Freebairn. Mike here with it pushed behind GLE. Back at X now. As Mark's back there with him. Will will come near side with Gus. That pass just a touch behind Cannon. He's trying to race back. This is just trickling toward the middle. Good assistance there by the Cats to keep this on the offensive end. Here's Jared. A sophomore. Boy, he's got great size for a sophomore. Coming up. Bounce shot there. Couldn't tell if that was saved away or not. Was awfully close. And be backed up here. You see these Northridge defenders do a great job of using all their tools, not just sticks, but also bodies to defend hard and be physical, not allowing Woods Cross to really penetrate at the point of attack. Cannon coming off here after a long sequence. Ruka coming on. Some fresh legs for this Cat offense coming around. McGuire looking backside, and that one saved. Boy, maybe the best save of the game on what was a... Great look for Caleb Kringlin. Scooped here by Meekum. Northridge now looking for a quick counter. Coming around that shot wide, backed up by the Knights. Just a great save there by Cubby and goal. You see number 32, Carter Kringlin. Right in front of the net, not able to get it through, but a great job by Woods Cross. They set it up beautifully, didn't they? Man, yeah. Good defense there, jarring it loose. Able to be kept here by Caleb Tate and the Knights. Over with Moore. All the way around now with Harris. Chase working back up top. Patience here from Northridge. Nice use of the screen. Boy, holding on. That shot was wide, backed up here. Good sustained possession here for Northridge. Yeah, you see just a slew of Woods Cross defenders trying to get in the way of that shot and not able to give them a clear lane. Northridge able to maintain possession. Baldwin. Boy, tough angle shot, and that's a nice job there by Noah Lake, able to keep it out. Great job by Lake, but also love the effort there from Baldwin. Yeah. Here comes McGuire. A lot of room in front of him. Woods Cross on the run. Marks was trying to look back door. That pass was deflected. Was trying to get it to Dunn. Marks back with it here for Woods Cross. Great job by the Northridge defense there. Getting sticks and lanes, not allowing a clear open path. 
Woods Cross retains possession, but not able to capitalize. Still on it. Wind up. Bounce shot was wide. Woods Cross with a couple players there. And backed up here for the Cats. You yeah, love seeing this sustained position for possession, excuse me, for Woods Cross. Something we didn't see a lot of at the end of the first and into the second quarter. Coming back here is Wood. Work to the angle. Boy, that one didn't make its way through. That was taken right off the shot. Good stick work there by Smith. Here comes Northridge. Boy, they got the wing open, wind up, and that is wide and backed up here by Wood by Northridge. Yeah, not often you see a shot like that go wide so far this game for Northridge, but able to maintain possession. They've done a good job, Dane, of backing out the offense, resetting things, and being able to attack. A little space here for Peterson. Cash with a goal today. A double team there, pushing him wide. Skousen trying to send out that one long and across the middle. There's the over and back. Yeah, love the idea on Skousen, the execution just not quite there. Marks working over with Dunn. Room here for Carter. Here's Gus. Now Gavin. Done. As Meekum will track him. Let's cross trying to find Rurka as he's been the goal scorer so far this game. Oh, how about the rip? Jack Wood, the junior, with the Century 21 Elite Team Utah goal for Woods Cross. Yeah, Jack Wood making me eat my words there, and I love that, man. Great shot there on goal. Finds the opening, doesn't hesitate, goes low. Finds the back of the net. Great job by Jack Wood there. Get Woods cross on the board here in the second half. Want to remind you, Men Love Fresh Start Auto has been serving Davis County for 70 years, and now they can help you get back on track with their Fresh Start program. To learn how you can find your next vehicle with no credit check and 0% financing, visit menlove.com. As we head back for another flat iron development face-off, this playback and gap captured there by Northridge. And just a great job there by Woods Cross to attack. Oh, let's see some aggressive. We get a timeout. There. Yeah, that's a great call by Woods Cross. Mm -hmm. Coach Razor knew that pressure was coming, takes the timeout here. Good call. We'll step aside as Woods Cross will have it when we come back. You're watching Woods Cross Lacrosse, presented by Tim Dolly Nissan on KSLSports.com. Hey, this is Grin Pierce, uh, General Manager at Tim Daly Nissan Bountiful and a proud sponsor of Woods Cross Lacrosse. Uh, just want to give you an update on the market, what's going on in the, in the world of cars. Uh, you know, here down here at Tim Daly Nissan Bountiful, we have a lot of new Nissan product um, shipped in, which has not been the case. We have over 50 brand new Nissan uh, products available for you guys to come check out. We have some 0% financing on new cars, which has not happened in years. And with the interest rates going up, this is your opportunity to come down and uh, take advantage of some really low interest rates and get yourself a brand new car. Uh, on the flip side, uh, the used car market is um, as hot as ever. You know, used cars are going for thousands more than they were months ago, which we thought wouldn't be the case. Um, so if you have a trade-in, it's never going to be worth more than it is right now. So you want to come down and see us at Tim Daly Nissan Bountiful. We'd love to give you an opportunity to show you our five-star uh, service at Tim Daly Nissan Bountiful. Welcome back. Tim Dolly Nissan is your local premier Nissan dealer. With our forever warranty, we'll cover key components like your engine, transmission, and drive train for as long as you own your car. And right now, take advantage of 0% financing on select models. Visit timdallybountiful.com to see our lineup or visit us on 400 East in North Salt Lake. Also want to thank Holson Wellness 
organically grown mushroom extracts that combine the wisdom of nature with the sophistication of technology. They're clinically potent, full spectrum, and packed with naturally occurring medicinal compounds. We use absolutely no additives, no additives, no preservatives, and no fillers. Our standards are uncompromising, just like yours. Visit wholesomewellness.com to check it out. Want to thank Holson Wellness for their sponsorship here of Woods Cross Lacrosse on kslsports.com. If you're Woods Cross, Brian, what do you try to dial up here for the offense? Well, you just saw Jack Wood with a goal earlier, so he's going to try and get an advantage here as he gets a shot on goal. Doesn't find the back of the net, but it's been Jack and Gavin Ruka. Ruka. Yeah. Ruka. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Blue screen of death here in the brain as, uh, <laughs> as we see Woods Cross trying to get the ball in. You want to try to get the ball in your playmaker's hands there, try and create some opportunities. We're seeing more motion from the offense here. You see Wood with another shot. I, boy, he's looked really aggressive in this third yes. quarter, hasn't he? Yeah, and you love the confidence from him at this point in time. That's okay. It's not a problem. You know, get those shots on goal, especially with a young young goaltender out there. Marks with it. Bar. That one drifting out. This one picked off again. Woods Cross. On it, McGuire. Plays wide. Over here with Marks. Coming around right in front. Oh, and that one trickles in. A century 21 Utah lead team goal for Will Marks and Woods Cross. And just a great job by Will Marks there as he's one-on-one -on -one with the defender. Keeps after it. Goes low. Able to squeeze the goal across there. Marks, the senior, does a great job getting another goal for Woods Cross. Boy, I'll tell you what. This is the Woods Cross team we thought we'd see tonight, right? Like... They've been better with the possession. They've been better taking advantage of opportunities. They've looked for shots. And there's a lot of work to do, but there's a lot of time left. We're just in the third quarter here. This captured by Northridge. Boy, right in front. Boy, I thought... Porter might have had a look there. Woods Cross does a nice job defensively. Kept here by Tate. Here's more. Baldwin. Oh, shook the defense. Wind up there. Once again, Rusty Baldwin painting the top corner with a Century 21 Elite Team Utah goal. Just a great move there by Baldwin to shake the defender, and then he goes upstairs for the goal. Great work there from Baldwin. He's done a great job all night long. Want a good response there for Northridge as well. Starting to feel like Woods Cross, we, we mentioned it, starting to find their footing, get some confidence. You need your leaders in those moments to step up. And Northridge, Rusty Baldwin, he's been that way all year. Third goal of the game for Rusty. Another flat iron development face off controlled by the Knights. Had a momentum there for Meekum. Show some patience. Push this wide. Now with Harris. Played down and gathered here by Tate. Caleb GLE going to run this back. Boy, splitting the pair there, and what a painted shot. Caleb Tate, a Century 21 Utah Elite Team goal. 
Just a great job by Tate to stay with it. You see the Woods Cross defenders there attacking him. He just stays around, stays around, and gets the one-on-one -on -one opportunity there with Lake. It's really, really tough for any goalie in that situation when the attacker's that close to the goal. Great job there by Northridge again, just fighting through it. Able to make the play. We'll head back here for another flat iron development face off. Back to back goals here for the Knights. And this will. I'm, I'm showing patience here because I got burned earlier. So I'm just waiting. They're going to give it here to Northridge. Yep. So we approach one minute to go. In the third, Porter will give this back to Baldwin. Bit of a lane there. Good help defensively by Wood to come over. That riser too tall, backed up here by Northridge. As we approach the final 30 seconds of the quarter. Skousen. Oh, looked backside, and that pass just unable to be handled by Tate. As into the crease, it'll be Woods Cross here with the possession. Good idea there for Northridge. Woods Cross able to fight it off. Final 20. A little bit of pressure here from Northridge. Let's cross, able to get it across. Here's Yosby. Luke uh, pushed out. Not Northridge D able to get the possession back here. Final 10 seconds. Some room here. Peterson, the windup and that goal rising out of play and that will do it. Our third quarter coming to a close as Northridge leading Woods Cross 13 to 5. You're watching Woods Cross Lacrosse presented by Tim Dolly Nissan on kslsports.com. Hey, this is Grin Pierce, uh, general manager at Tim Dolly Nissan Bountiful and a proud sponsor of Woods Cross Lacrosse. I uh, just want to give you an update on the market, what's going on in the, in the world of cars. Uh, you know, here down here at Tim Dolly Nissan Bountiful, we have a lot of new Nissan product um, shipped in, which has not been the case. We have over 50 brand new Nissan uh, products available for you guys to come check out. We have some 0% financing on new cars, which has not happened in years. And with interest rates going up, this is your opportunity to come down and uh, take advantage of some really low interest rate to get yourself a brand new car. Uh, on the flip side, uh, the used car market is um, as hot as ever. You know, used cars are going for thousands more than they were months ago, which we thought wouldn't be the case. Um, so if you have a trade-in, it's never gonna be worth more than it is right now. So you wanna come down and see us at Tim Daly Nissan Bountiful. We'd love to give you an opportunity to show you our five-star uh, service at Tim Daly Nissan Bountiful. Welcome back. Woods Cross Lacrosse is presented by Tim Dolly Nissan on KSLSports.com. Dane Stewart, Brian Brown with you. Start of the fourth quarter, 13-5. to five, The advantage for the Knights, they got off to a 6-1 to one start in the first. Has paced them throughout the duration. But uh, really the last 15, 18 minutes or so, we've seen Woods Cross find their, their footing here. We'll see if they've got a fourth quarter in line as we start the fourth quarter here with a flat iron development face off yeah and one of the best quarters we've seen so far from both of these teams there in the third quarter a lot of back and forth action a lot more competition there from what's crosses you see the cross check <laughs> able to maintain possession yeah gathered here by cannon oh good find extra pass in front and it's the goal century 21 Elite Team Utah, Woods Cross goal, scored by Kenyon Van Niederhausen. Well, we talked with Coach Keller early in the, before the game, Danny, and he mentioned, reminded us that these are still high school players. And good to see uh, Carter Kringlin there learning yep. on the fly. Goes low as he had an opportunity earlier, wasn't able to capitalize. This time around, gets the goal. Woods Cross starting off on fire. Yeah, it was Carter Kringlin. My apologies, Carter. I got that one wrong as we're back for another flat iron development face off. 
And shout out to Carter for wearing those red cleats. Makes it a little easier for me to find him out there. Dane does the hard work. He looks for numbers. I look for cleats. You know, and there's there's a lot going on, and I just missed it. So, Carter, Mama and Papa Kringlin, my apologies. That's a heck of a goal. Good response there, 13-6. You see that energy level pick up for what's crossing yes. immediately. Right in front, that one. You could tell didn't get quite the look he wanted there from Tate. Backed up here for Northridge. Shot wide on that one. You're seeing this Woods Cross defense evolve, right? As soon as they get that goal, energy level picks up. Suddenly, they're pushing the attackers out of their space. Just need to stay competitive with it. Stay on top of things. I want to remind you, after the game, we'll, we'll have another coach's interview brought to you by Men Love Fresh Start Auto. As the shot backed up again. Here's more. Finn is trying to look right in front. That one just a little too tall. Kept here by Baldwin. Boy, good find right in front. How about the movement there? Is a Northridge goal brought to you by Century 21 Elite Team Utah. And you see the energy level dropping there for Woods Cross defense. They lose track. The one guy you can't lose track of, right, Dane? That's another goal for Northridge. Great response by the Knights. Again, we talk about it so much. Staying with the play, staying competitive throughout the process. When you stick with it, good things happen. Northridge able to stay with it there. Boy, the quick ball movement there, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that ball's jumping, and you get a lane there. It's a tough one to stop. Another flat iron development face off here. Here comes Northridge, C.J. Campbell with some room, a long pull. Well, now head back as Northridge sets up the offense. I haven't called Campbell's name a ton, but he's done a great job all game long of being aggressive, pushing the ball upfield, attacking on the defensive end. Well, out Baldwin, Skousen to do what they do best. Right in front, good stick defense there for Woods Cross. Northridge nearly had a shot right in front of the cage. Defense prohibiting it. Seen Woods Cross has had some issues tonight trying to secure the ball. And that's what's allowed Northridge a lot of these shots and these opportunities. Otherwise, Woods Cross has done a really good job most of the game. Staying competitive. Boy, that first quarter. Just hard to overcome those kinds of starts. Is that one going to be one? Boy, good chase there given by Lake to win this for the Cats. Yeah, great job by Noah Lake. Staying in there, getting the deflection. Shot not quite on goal there. But Lake able to chase it down. How about Northridge able to come right back? Boy, low shot there in Lake. Boy, how about that, huh? You, you get good lighting, and he's on that one. <laughs> That's that a was a tough nice shot. Nice job too. by Noah, yeah. yeah. Bringing this ahead here is Cannon. We approach nine to play. Well, again, want to thank our sponsors here of Woods Cross Lacrosse, Holson Wellness, Harding Design and Build, Snowy Shaved Ice, Edgar Law, Performance Toyota Bountiful, and JP Electrical. Their sponsorships make this stream possible. Want to thank them for their sponsorship of Woods Cross Lacrosse. Some time here for Jack. Here's Free Baron. Great job again by the Northridge defense to deter him. Free Baron, kind of a nifty player, but not able to get through that stingy Northridge defense. Mark's working this out. Jack Wood coming off that screen, trying. Boy, that's a tough ball to thread right in front of the cage as that came in and out of the 
Crease there, yeah, it's going to go back to Woods Cross. Well, that's one way to do it, huh? Yeah, it's a tough turnover there for Northridge off of a, what was really a great defensive play. Yeah. If you're Woods Cross, time to take advantage. Well, get it back here. Wood will start it. Sent down here with Dunn. Mark's able to repossess that. Little burst here from Jack Wood. Boy, I thought he had a lane, and that's a good check at an opportune time there for the Knights. Yeah, you can see that there's a lot of potential with this Woods Cross offense, but that Northridge defense has been so good tonight. Uh, cutting, cutting off any lanes, cutting off any space, really protecting that young goalie. Yeah. We saw this defense absolutely handed to Bingham early in the year as well. This is legit. Is yeah. that one taken away? I think of all the teams that we've seen, that might be one of the more impressive uh, long stick performances mm. from this Northridge group, Dane. If long you outlet. see them and... American Fork, you wish classifications weren't a thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which uh, we may see American Fork next week. That's what we in the biz like to call a tease. Of course, KSL Sports Rewind. We got you all the way to state championships here on kslsports.com. As we approach the midway point here in this fourth quarter, Northridge back with it. This is Wren. Quinny working that to the edge. Here's Chase Harris. Tried to dump one off in the middle. Was intended there for Peterson. Tracked down, kept in. Good pursuit out there by Sykets. He's got it here. Side back to where there's a little bit of room. He'll hand that off or I should say send it over. A riser there, backed up here by Northridge. Let's see Aiden West and the young defender there for Woods Cross. Just a sophomore out there playing with all the rest of the upperclassmen. Doing a great job fighting with it. Right in front. Good save put on there by Noah Lake. He has settled in. He has. That one deflected out of the air, nearly taken away. How about Lake with the athletic grab? Boy, got a retreat here. Northridge has it. Open goal. The bounce shot. Oh, and Lake. Oh, the play of the game by Noah Lake. At a kid, big fella. Noah Lake, are you serious? What a great job. That's one that won't necessarily show up in the score sheet, Dane. It's going to show up on highlight reels, yes, I'll tell you what. Oh. And Northridge able to score a century 21 elite team Utah goal. Boy, you just kind of tell, could tell that was building up a little bit, but man. Uh, talk about panic on the defense there, Dane, is Noah Lake with the save of the week for sure, maybe the <laughs> month, and who knows how this year unfolds. Uh, but not able to stop Max Skousen there, and Skousen pays the price, ends up on his back, but never hurts as bad when you get the goals, Dane. Certainly makes that turf feel a little softer, right? That's right. I've got the fourth goal of the game now for Max. His stellar offensive night continues. He and Baldwin have been outstanding for this Northridge attack. I'll tell you what, that's a tough break for Noah Lake. There's so much hustle to get back and make a great save, but just goes to show how tough this game can be, Dane, and how much of a team effort it really is when it comes to defending that net. Another flat iron development face off here. One by Northridge. Looking backside again, that one drifting through. Picked up here by Kyber Porter. Porter looking in front. 
Trying to get around and another Century 21 elite team Utah goal is, boy, that was cross defense really got spread out there, Brian. Yeah, and that's exactly what it was, Dane. Just chasing the cookie way too much. You, know, you want the, you want to be under control with your aggression, and you open up those holes, and that allows Northridge to get another goal there. So they go up double digits here in the fourth quarter. We'll head back to the spot for a flat iron development face off. As some late substitutions here for Woods Cross. Talk about region play continues. Woods Cross will take to the road, take on Box Elder. As uh, that was a game that was a two goal game. And Woods Cross going to see if they can get a little revenge on the Bees. This one brought up by Northridge. Baldwin working out. Here's Harris. Baldwin again. Could tell Finn was thinking about that shot. He was able to regather it. Boy, tough angle and Finn Moore with a Century 21 Elite Team Utah goal. Well, I don't know if it's just a degree of difficulty for Finn Moore today or if that's always how he likes to store his goals. But a great job by him there, taking on multiple Woods Cross defenders, finds the back of the net. He can trot off. I don't know how he fit that one in. You got a double team, you're near post, and you squeeze it in between Lake and the iron. I mean, that's a, that's a tough goal. Off balance, sticks going everywhere. Yeah. Still able to find the back of the net. Yeah. Great job. We'll head back here. Another flat iron development face off. Talk about the next opponent for Woods Cross, Northridge. We'll have Salem Hills next. Right in front, boy, bang, bang. Another Century 21 Elite Team Utah goal for Northridge. Again, just the capitalizing on the disconnect there on the defensive end for Woods Cross. Northridge gets another goal there as they go up 18 to six. It's been a great day. For Max Gausen. I want to remind you with all the variants and bugs out there, you want to support your immune system. Organically grown mushroom extracts that combine the wisdom of nature with the sophistication of technology. Clinically potent, full spectrum, and packed with naturally occurring medicinal compounds. No additives, no preservatives, no fillers. Visit wholesunwellness.com to boost your immune system. We're back with another flat iron development face off. Another win for Northridge, and you can just kind of sense right now there's a lot of momentum and just the avalanche that Northridge has been putting on here in the fourth quarter was a five-goal difference here early in the fourth. Yeah, Woods Cross started the quarter off with a goal. Love that energy initially, and then you just see, again, trying to do too much sometimes, be a little too aggressive. Cost Woods Cross a little bit there is... Northridge is kind of scored in waves tonight, Dane. Yeah. Locked this one up, it looks like, with another one here in the fourth. Cannon bringing it up as we're inside of three to play. And that pass off target. Northridge coming ahead. Let's cross Noah Lake there. Oh, and the outlet couldn't be handled. This one trickling through and out.
Uh, Knights here will start with it. Baldwin. Big offensive night for the Knights. Final two to go. Looking back to that angle as Lake will escort this out. It'll be Woods Cross possession. Under two minutes here, just Want to try and show some aggression. Maybe try and get another goal if it was cross. If you're Northridge, it's just about. Don't do anything to jeopardize the next game. That pass too tall for the outstretched reach of Richards. How about man on the spot? Caleb winning it back here for Woods Cross. Ground ball in the air now. Boy, a hard check there right near the Northridge bench. We play on. No infraction there. Another hard check will give this to Woods Cross. Just another impressive job by that long stick crew there for Northridge. Just aggressive. They move well. I love how they use their sticks to their advantage. It's been a real thorn in the side of Woods Cross all yeah. game long. I want to take one more moment here as final minute of play. I want to thank all of our sponsors here of Woods Cross Lacrosse, Tim Dolly Nissan, Men Love Fresh Start Auto, Century 21, Elite Team Utah, Flatiron Development, Holson Wellness, Harding Design and Build, Snowy Shaved Ice, Edgar Law, Performance Toyota Bountiful, and JP Electrical. All sponsors of Woods Cross Lacrosse on KSLSports.com. Want to thank them for their support of Woods Cross as the no look behind the back pass there off the mark and we're down to the final 10 seconds trickling down the Northridge Knights as we've got a whistle here and I think we just let this play through that'll do it Northridge comes on the road they get the bounce back win they were hoping for with the 18 to 6 victory over at Woods Cross. Brian, your your final thoughts and a selection of your player of the game. Well, it was a great, great effort there by Northridge. Down one of their key players, the goalie being out, Callum Dibble. Not a problem tonight. As you see that this Northridge defense is, is about so much more than just the goalie and really impressed tonight by the attack as well. Executed well on the offensive end. Just a great effort top to bottom. Uh, responding after a tough, tough loss to Bountiful earlier this week, Dane. Max Skousen. Yeah? Great job tonight. Give him the player of the game. I think it's a tough one because uh, Rusty Baldwin up there as well. Really carrying the load later on. I think I'm going to go with Max. All right. Max Skousen, our player of the game. I have him unofficially with four goals was a big impact player for this Northridge offense as they get the 18 to six victory over Woods Cross. We want to remind you, hang around. We will have our post game interview brought to you by Men Love Fresh Start Auto as we'll have a chance to talk with Coach Razor and his thoughts on the game tonight. We'll step aside and we'll be back in a couple of moments with Coach Razor in our Men Love Fresh Start Auto coaches interview. Here with Coach Razor and our Men Love Fresh Start Auto post-game interview. Coach, tough one tonight. Got yeah. off to a tough start. Thought the second half you guys came out, showed a little bit of energy, got the offense working, uh, just not quite enough in that second half, too big of a deficit. What were your thoughts on the second half tonight for Woods Cross? Well, first of all, for the whole game, my compliments to Reed and the Northridge uh, Knights team. I really like it. I really like what I'm seeing and what they're doing. They moved the ball really well to Axon back through the crease. A lot of good feeds, and that'll feed into the what we did, all right. So we did like, when we had composure. We ran a little bit of process in the ball movement. Like we moved it pretty well. I like what I'm seeing. When we kind of got in the transition, we tried to force it. We kind of lost the process a little bit. And so I think if we can just kind of recapture that initiative. Then I think it'll, it'll come together. I mean, we're a young team. Uh, they've been playing really hard this season. Uh, I won't. I don't think the record kind of reflects the input that they're 
put into the game, but they have a lot to learn and they're learning it every time. So I think they came out a little flat, they, came, they picked up the energy, but when they stuck to the process, they did good. When they went after the ground balls, we did better. So we just got to really work on the consistency of that. And that's what we'll take into the next game. Well, that was the tough thing, because even tonight, it was like, you guys have some good looks and Cubby makes some really impressive saves early for Northridge. It felt like he had a really big game for them in goal. Was that maybe tough for the offense to, to get that out of their heads, do you think? Well, it's all about the shot placement, I think. I mean, if, it depends on where you are. If you shoot at the feet, the goalie's got a better probability statement versus you shoot a bouncer outside the crease. So I really just think it's like we, if we think we can get that microsecond while we're sh sending that shot, if we can get the, the last little bit of snap to put the ball where we need to put it, then I think we can put better placement on, on a lot of different goals. But he came out. He made some great saves and compliments to his play as well. And, uh, and I just think that like, we're going to build on this game for the next one. You talk about building on the next one. You got Box Elder coming up. Yeah. We don't want to give him any bulletin board, but what's maybe that thing that you prepare for going against the Bees for the second time? Well, really, it's just ball movement. We got to get the on ball ball movement with the off ball, off ball movement synced. And I think if we just get back into that catch, dodge, pass, pass, dodge, uh, and we run that process, again, the, it's the off ball movement that we got to really focus on that I think we can like capitalize on some opportunities. And then we just got to connect the passes. The looks are there. We just got to get our like, like get panic, turn panic into patience, and then turn like you know like aggression into composure. And I think we'll nail some shots uh, next time. You know, good crowd here tonight. Yeah. Great support at Woods Cross. I uh, want to thank all of our sponsors who make this possible, Coach. Well, it's not only that. It's all the families that put in all the time to their players, to the program. The high school administration puts a lot of effort to make all this happen. And then the sponsorships this year, like they're doing a lot for the team. That you can, the team, It's making a difference for the team. It's really energizing the players. So uh, our, my heartfelt appreciation to all the parents, the friends, the fans, and the sponsors for sure. We couldn't do it without you. Want to thank you for joining us on the post-game interview. Yep. Brought you, to you by Men Love Fresh yep. Start Auto. Thanks, thank Coach. You.